I went from a junior developer to mid-level in exactly one year. And here's how I did it. But before we get to that, my name is Khalid and I'm a self-taught developer. And I made this video talking about uh, all about how I transitioned from a truck driver to a software developer. I highly recommend you go watch that video first. But anyway, I got my first job as a software developer in July 2021. And it was, it was at a startup that didn't pay me anything. It was an equity position. I was okay with it. I took the job and then I got my current job as a mid-level software developer in August 2022. As you can see, it took me exactly one year. All I did was follow these three steps. Now, the first one is I never called myself a junior developer anywhere. Not on my LinkedIn profile, not on my resume, not on my GitHub profile, nowhere anywhere and i did that because i didn't really see myself as a junior developer and i would rather let the interviewers decide whether i'm a junior or a mid-level and the second step was did i call it a rule or a step i can't remember anyway and the second rule was i always had a side project that that i would always use to practice to practice on to hone my skills to basically learn more on the site while I always had a job. I would do my job, I would do my side project, and I would still learn on the side. All of that because I wanted to advance faster. I didn't want to spend years as a junior developer making junior developer money. At one point, I had a full-time job, a startup that I was working at, and a project that I was maintaining on the site. I was also interviewing and applying for jobs on the site. Which brings us to the last point, which is to job hub for better pay, better job title and basically better opportunities and that is what i did the one year between my first job and my current job i had two full-time jobs and neither of them actually labeled me as a junior and each one of those jobs paid me more than the one before before you say anything i know that these might not be applicable given today's tough job market i know it is really difficult to find a job but that is how i did it that's how i did it back in 2021 and 2022 and that is why i still have a side project to this day i have a couple of projects that i'm practicing on that i'm using to hone my skills I, and i'm still perfecting my craft anyway i have a video coming up on how i'm planning to become a senior developer specifically senior mobile app developer in a year or two so if you want to see that make sure to subscribe and i think that is it for today i'll see you next time